Hello, everybody. This is Amanda Kulong with Tech Zulu Live from Blog World, New York City. Yes, we're not in Vegas at all, and I am here. Are you sure, we're not in Vegas. Who's this man talking next to me? I really, I really don't know who this is yet. Oh, Actually, I'm lying. I do. It's it's Chris Noble, everybody. <laughs> How are you? Excellent, thank you. How are you? I'm great. You're, you're my first victim. How do you feel about that? Uh, enthusiastically nervous. I like that answer. Yeah, Very I'm PR. Looking forward to it, and yet, <laughs> you know, you might be off your game. It's early. So Chris and I were sitting here talking before we came live with all of you here to talk about sort of, I know, to talk about, <laughs> don't you love live? I'm gonna Gotta love live. I know he was fidgeting with a Starbucks container I'm down by his feet and fidget, I, I made him not fidget. That's and we're also gonna talk about candy bars here in just a minute, but, and courtesy. And courtesy. So, we're here at Blog World, lots of things obviously we can talk about. Let's start off first by talking about the panel that you moderated yesterday. Okay, um, about South by Southwest Cares, or you know the sort of the community that came together um, around Japan Relief, right? Fantastic, happy to talk about that. So at South by this year, um, in the Samsung Blogger Lounge, mm -hmm. there was a whole group of very, very talented people who were stricken, as many of us were, by the, the tragedy in Japan after the tsunami. And uh, they, you know, they had a, all the images up on the big screen in the Blogger Lounge, and it just it moved a whole group of people to, in about five hours, launch a website, start taking donations for the Red Cross. Five hours? Five hours, actually, here's the funniest part. Tiny little group of people, but highly motivated, highly talented people, all in one physical place. I mean, it shows you the power of of kind of organic action and activity. Mm -hmm. That site to take donations was up 18 hours before the Red Cross was taking donations themselves for Japan. Wow. Right? So wow. Pretty good mobility. Uh, it's one of those things where... Uh, Agility and mobility. Both of those. Exactly right. Yeah. The, the coolest thing was um, because it was the Blogger Lounge and because of the concentration of sort of social media talent, the, the one of the main organizers, Lee Durst, just kind of turned around in the Blogger Lounge and tapped Hugh on the back, right, gaping void, right. right, tapped Hugh on the back and said, Hugh, we need a logo for South by Southwest Cares. And Hugh being Hugh just kind of went, <laughs> sketched it all out. Yeah. Wow. And so, and then there was a logo and then they printed cards with the logo to send people to the website and they handed them out at South by and this woman from Weber Shanwick started recruiting sponsors and donors. So you pulled in some PR folks. Pulled in PR folks, yeah. pulled in web folks, pulled in some cause folks, right? Um, so Drew got on board and started promoting. Drew who? That, <laughs> that Drew. No, wait, the other Drew. Wait, which, <laughs> shit, which Drew is he these days? Drew Olinoff. There you go, that's the one. <laughs> so, uh, it, you know, so just pulled a bunch of people together and started promoting it, and uh, they raised $130,000 in less than 10 days. Wow. Yeah, wow. Just completely great. And, and then uh, some, uh, some people got together, um, I can't remember the name of the band, but it was one of the bands that was playing at South By, and pulled together a, a group of ten different bands that made an album, and they made a, a yeah they made a South by Southwest Cares album. It's available on Amazon and I think iTunes right now. No, it's crazy. It was just it's one of those things that could only happen at South by Southwest. Is it in the water in Austin? I mean, I really wonder. Like we talk about it being Geeks Spring Break, but it's more than that. It's like a huggy love fest. It is a huggy love fest. There's a lot of people who care about social good. Right. And there's just a lot. It's a nexus of talented people. Yeah. So you can get a lot done that week. Um, it's our, for Cause Media Group, my company, it's our third South By in a row where we did some cause campaign. Yeah. And every year, we get tremendous response. We did the, um, the, the charity smackdown with Mashable three years ago, right? And had Cashmore and a whole bunch of other people. You know, a whole bunch of other people just competing to raise money for their favorite charity. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we did the check-in for, or no, two years ago, check-in for charity on Foursquare. Right. And, and we do these cause campaigns all the time, it's our business, but for whatever reason, South By and Austin are particularly fertile ground for just bringing it all together and making it happen. And then we report on it at Blog World. Bingo. <laughs> well, what, what would you say makes 
blog world unique. So South by definitely has that kind of getaway, spring breaky kind of feel, and it, and it's the lovey dovey, huggy feely kind of thing, and and, and, it, and it's in it's in a good way. So what what would you say blog world is then? I'm going to put you on the spot. I actually have an answer for this. In, until uh, until Rick went and you know changed it all around and made it New York and LA and all kinds of crazy. Yeah. By the way, people, we're not in Vegas. I think you, I, I said that. That's we're in New York City, New York and City. then the next Blog World's in Los Angeles. That's right. So until Rick Calvert, who runs Blog World, you know, changed that all up, yeah. I used to say that um, South By was our spring break, mm -hmm. and Blog's World, Blog World is our Thanksgiving. Yeah. So Blog World's a great time to get together and in a much, it, it, it is, a, even though it was Vegas. Digest? It is, it's a quieter setting. You can all sit around, unbuckle your pants. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, that, that, that would be more of a Vegas thing, but Vegas yeah. Thing. No, I meant more like the, <laughs> no, never mind. You're consuming, you're, you're consuming all of the information that's been gleaned over the last year or the last few months, and you know, kind of the takeaways from South By, and you're digesting it all at Blog yeah, World. It's the, it, Blog World is kind of the harvest time, right? Yeah. When you, people can do real business, which is what they do, right? They have, I mean, South by is great, and I like to see people. Yeah. But there's not a lot of actual business we're moving forward. That gets business gets done at Blog World. But business gets done at Blog World. There's your new right. tagline, Rick. Rick, Dave, business gets done at Blog World. Come on. I think we need. So can we get a little royalty money out yeah, of that? I, I think we need. We need. We need a little. Uh, we need a little this. This. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, business gets done at Blog World. Uh huh. All right. So, so. moving on then to this whole notion of well being rude or this notion of social media kind of pushing the boundaries, so to speak, in terms of what people understand as a friend. Fantastic. Friend versus follower. Like, what is a real friend these days? And, and what lines are drawn? And, and how have social you know, mores changed because of social media? You seem to have had a very recent experience with this. <laughs> I haven't. I, I can't name names. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but it, it just, it was, it's, it's something I rant about you know, privately fairly often. Privately, huh? Now, yeah, well, I don't mind ranting public. publicly, too. I'm happy to rant in public. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it, it just has, has really occurred to me lately in a couple different scenarios that uh, because we're all used to social media, it, it breaks down the bonds of formal courtesy. Convention. So I, I actually I had a guy yesterday that I'd never met before in my life that I didn't know and he didn't know me just start Going off? Just start going off. Just asking me about whether I downloaded his product and was I, you know, did I know anything about his business? And just starting the conversation there, not starting the conversation with. Hello, my name is. Hello, my name is. How hard is that? But you should know my name. You know my Twitter handle, don't you? That's the whole thing. People people assume that they're known. They assume that they know you. We all lead more public lives than we would have five years ago, right? I mean, you do in particular, right? I do too, though. We're yeah, Google Amanda Coolong and see what comes up. Right? I mean, we're the the, the I, I've had I, I've had you know girlfriends in the public spotlight in social media. My kids get out there all the time. Like, it, I I get how that happens. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you actually know me, and and what's worse, it doesn't mean that you've actually formed a real connection. Right. And that's that's where so moving off guy from yesterday and into another example. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've experienced this, but it's people who introduce themselves to people you know as though they were your friends. Yes! Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. yeah. It makes me want to remove my entire friend list from Facebook. It makes my skin crawl. It's like you, you've never even met me in person and you're introducing yourself to my contacts as like through me? Yes, right? How presumptuous! <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Saw so you were tweeting with A. Kulong. We're real good buddies. Da, da, da. It's like, wait, what? Wait, who are you? Wait. So that's the thing. I mean, I just, I, I, at some point, I would like to see courtesy return. Well, yes. And I have to say, some of the tools that we use also lend themselves to creating the same problem. So I will say, for check-in services, Foursquare, I will call you out. Well, I have, you know, I'm a female and there are different ways that I use check-in services. But beyond that, 
What bothers me with some of these things is that if I check in somewhere, it will say that I am there with whoever else is there. Whether or not I'm associated with those people, whether or not I even know them. And what if I don't want to be aligned with said person for whatever reason? Or I just don't know them. I don't want other people because that gives the illusion that I am there with those people. And I'm not. Yes. Well, and, and I, I, pres I check in at, on the checkout more often than Yeah, you. no, I do too. Right? Especially restaurants or... If check in out, on the checkout. That's what I do. I go, oh, I'm leaving. Yeah. Now's a good time to check in. Yeah. This is where Chris Noble was. Yeah. It's just, yeah it, you it, just made me think of my, one of my favorite cafes in Los Angeles and Hollywood called Cafe Was. They should do a whole campaign that's about... Yeah. The post... The post check in society. Yeah. I like it. Now, that's second good idea. Cafe Was? Yeah. Uh -huh. Cafe Was, talk to us. Come on. We're just like idea generation yeah, over here. Ideation, now. ideation. Oh, really? <laughs> I, actually, so, you know me, I can't help myself. No, we I, really can't. I started yesterday's session picking on yesterday's session. I know, I know. You roasted your own session? Okay. Well, so, without naming any names, I didn't come up with the title for the session. Oh. And the title for the session was, let me see if I can get it right. Let's see if we can find it. It was South by Southwest Cares. And then it said uh, rapid, no, uh, rapid iterative development, crowdsourced fundraising, crowdsourcing, fundraising, uh, and something else. But Buzzword the, bingo! It was total buzzword bingo. And so, and so I started out the session and I said, Okay, thank you all for coming. I don't know which of our buzzwords ensnared you and brought you here. So I'd like to take the first five minutes, if, if we don't mind, people step up to the mic and tell us what you want to get out of this session. And then we'll take the next hour and address whichever of the particular buzzwords that drew you here. Because wow. it's like, wow. it just gets me sometimes. As much as I live in it, it gets me. Me too. Complaining with Chris and Amanda. We'll be right back. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. That's, a, that's a whole show right there. Come out to LA or we'll do a Skype show. We'll do a Skype show where I'm on the West Coast, you're on the East Coast, we're good to go. There you go. Would you guys like that, a Skype show? I, oh man, and I could complain forever. I'll get my, I'll get my, uh, my shorts and my black socks. Once a month we'll have an amazing show because I'll be in a really bad mood. There you go. I'll wave the paper, <laughs> I'll shout at the kids, I'll tell them to get off the lawn. Either that or we'll just do the show in the morning, West Coast time, because Efren will tell you, my business partner, yeah, Amanda does not like mornings. He's knocking on my door. Get up, Coolong. It's time to go do the show. Pre-coffee is no good. Before I've had my quad shot, you really want to stay away from me. Oh, I'm evil. I am evil. You, you want to you want to stay with you know with in an arm at least an arm's length at least for me. I, I think that you have to like hold my head and like have push me away. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I won't. So and then I won't use the rolly seat to get away from you. <laughs> yes, the rolly seats are fun. See, woohoo! <laughs> Come back. I'm back. I'm back. So last thing, yep. you know, we've been at Blog World for a couple of years now. Um, things have obviously changed a lot. What are, you know, what are some of the things that you've personally been following as it relates to social, as it relates to community building, as it relates to, um, you know, all of, all of these buckets, so to speak. Like, are there certain trends that you're really latching onto or certain things that, you know, tactics that you're using now that are new? What are some of those useful 101 type tips that we can give the audience? Okay, so uh, let me give you three. So uh, uh, first off, it's okay to be on Facebook, even desired now, right? So there was a, if you, if you seriously track it over three years yeah. since Blog World 08, right? Blog World 08, the, the vibe was Facebook's a good landing page, mm -hmm. but really maintain your own blog, maintain your own site, maintain your brand, maintain your presence, blah, blah, blah. I think that's probably still decent personal blogger advice. But if you look what the brands are doing, the brands are just investing in Facebook. Yeah. They're just like, okay, we're done. That's where the people are. That's where I'm gonna launch my campaigns. I may have a microsite somewhere, but I'm gonna do it on Facebook. And 90% um, of what Cause Media does, we do for the brands, even though we're raising money for charity, yeah. right? We work for your Electroluxes, your Pepsis, your Frigidaires, like that. And um, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uh, brands moving a lot of their resources to Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of couponing. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of, if you're going to be there, create something that's valuable. Okay. 
Now for bloggers, that's content. So, that's, so number one, right. don't be afraid of Facebook. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you're going to be there, create something that's valuable. Bloggers, that's content. Okay. For brands, it's, it's coupons. It, um, Facebook people polled expect two things out of a brand on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Coupons and customer service. Those are the top two things. So they're using Facebook, which I think is third lesson, very interesting. Yeah. They're using this channel as a channel to talk to brands as though they're people. Yeah. As though they're yeah. individuals. So that's that's the third thing, and that's not a that's not a Facebook thing, but that's right. the third major trend is more and more I'm expecting my brand to act like my friend. I'm expecting them to be responsive, I'm expecting them to tell me the truth, I'm expecting them to yeah. return value because I'm giving them value. It's a really interesting social dynamic. I never even thought about it that way. You're so right. Yeah, that's the way it's going. It's yeah, so we're personifying brands. And the fourth thing, which is which breaks my heart. Oh, but four. Oh, okay. I can't help it. Is that is is Twitter's got to get its friggin' act together. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just saying. Ninety-two percent. This was a stat from one of the morning sessions. Ninety-two percent of people in America know what Twitter is. Yeah. Eight percent use it. Merp, merp. Bingo. Look at Facebook's growth in the same amount of time. Right. They're killing it. Why are they killing it? Because Facebook has a platform where developers and brands can come and make money. Yeah. And Twitter has a broadcast tool, yeah. which is great for PR. It's actually good for customer service. Yeah. But there are it's no good other. For some tools. networking. Yeah, but there are no. It's it's good to pretend you're friends with somebody. Yeah, exactly. But it's 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 not yet there as a business platform. Mm. So I would watch that real carefully. Okay. They've got to do something. They got to do it pretty soon. Last question mm -hmm. as it relates to the Facebook piece. Yeah. So when you're a blogger or let's say you're even a smaller, you know, just a smaller site, you know, an aggregation site, content mm -hmm. site or whatnot, how do you start pulling people into your Facebook page? How do you initially get them to know you even exist? Because it's one thing when you're a big brand, you've got the budget to throw behind Facebook mm -hmm. to build, you know, a unique set of landing pages, to have the couponing, to have promotions. If you're you know, everyday blogger and you don't have a budget and you've got your content, how do you get people to start liking your page? I have a totally trite but completely true answer. Please, be honest. Uh, and, and, and also I want to give a quick plug to 140.com. 140.com, a great place to get all your social media tools. <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're good buddies of mine, so I, I like to plug them. Fair enough. Laura Fitton is the CEO. I know Laura Fitton. Indeed, pistachio on the Twitters. So. Um, the, the real answer to your question, which is, how do, you, how do you get started? How do you get momentum coming to whatever your web presence is? Right. And uh, the, the answer is, on Facebook, the, the targeting is a lot better now. Mm -hmm. But also, if you go to 140.com, for example, right. you can see a whole range of tools to listen to the Twitter stream mm -hmm. for particular keywords and find out who's talking about your subject. Right. So if you're doing, you sell tube socks, or you have a blog about tube socks, you, there are plenty of tools. There's one, um, what's her name? Jen, Jen Texas, Jen, do you know what I'm talking about? Jenny TX? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Jenny it, TX is just on watching a, a site called Pink Sheet. With Pink a Q. Sheets. Pink Sheets with a Q, there you go. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a blogger tool mm -hmm. for identifying when your keywords are being used and where you need to, and who you need to talk to and who's in your conversation, who's in the conversation about your keyword topic. Now that's going to be helpful for Twitter and building that following. What about Facebook? And so, and on Facebook, the targeting tools are less good, yeah. but the targeting tools, I would say, especially if you're, um, it depends what you're blogging about, but, but start with the geo targeting, because that's pretty good. You so you're can, saying doing some advertising then on Facebook? I think you really have to, and it's not that expensive. If you, you, yeah. know, you, if you do um, uh, the, the uh, pay-per-click model, I, I, that's not what they call it, but yeah. that's what it is. If you do the pay-per-click model on Facebook, you're going to pay a very high, uh, individual click, sometimes a buck, buck fifty, okay. but you'll get a lot of impressions for your thing, okay. and it will drive traffic and ultimately drive likes. It's a good basic way to get going, mm -hmm. and you can spend you know two hundred bucks a week yeah. and get some decent traffic built up. You know, you should also have real friends and ask your friends to talk about you on Facebook because yeah. that will, in their algorithm, if more of your friends are talking about it, right. it pumps up on their pages. Every Facebook exactly. user has an one hundred thirty connections on average. You can. You can get to 10,000 people pretty fast just by asking your friends to talk about your stuff. There you go. Well, thank you. Thank you for the banter. Thank you for the griping. Thank you for the fidgeting. I'm happy to be opinionated anytime. <laughs>
and always good to see you. And where can people find you, Chris? Uh, you can find me on the Twitters at CF Noble, <laughs> N-O-B-L-E. Uh, but also my company is called Cause Media Group. It's uh, all one word. And uh, you can find us online. Our blog is What Gives. It's a little easier to spell. <laughs> and, uh, and we talk about the nexus of social good and brands and charities. There you go. Well, thank you, my dear. Thank and you. I will catch up with you again soon. Chris Noble, everybody, here in New York City. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who's my next victim? <laughs> Bye. Actually, it's not, but you can hug me anyway. <laughs> hugs, everybody. Hugs and love. Get on over here, Patrick.